Okay, so normally I would be using my Anastasia Beverly Hill uh, brow definer that looks like this. And you guys probably already know what that is, but I have ran out of mine. So it's only like a little nub on it and you can't really use it once it gets to that point. But everything that I'm going to show you that I'm doing now is what I would do if I were to um, be using this. So yeah, it's pretty much the same technique, just using different products. So, and the products that I'm using would just be like a cheaper alternative because it's just what I had laying around but it's what I normally would use before I was using that or in between using that or anything else so yeah I'm just going in with my wet n wild uh, pencil that looks like this um, it's a nub because I hadn't used it in a long time so yeah and I'm just gonna start off by um, outlining my brow and I'm going to extend my tail just a little bit because I don't have, like this one is extended a little bit more than this one, but I don't for the most part have the extended tail that I want. And then I'm going to go up front, up the, up front, up top, and I'm going to start about a little bit more than midway. And I'm just going to connect the two. Now at this point you can take it and make an arch if you need an arch. I have an arch but it's not as defined so I do bring it up just a little bit more. Next I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. Um, spoolie and I'm pretty much just going to brush that through. I'm not really adding more product to it, I'm just kind of brushing it through and if I do need more product I'll go inside of my tart, um, Tartlet palette and use that dark brown. I don't go back in the... Um, and with the pencil and use it so yeah but before I do anything else now I'm just gonna go in with my LA girl pro concealer in the color beautiful bronze that looks like this and I'm going to clean up underneath now uh, sometimes I'll clean up underneath first but for the most part my eyebrows got done maybe a few weeks ago they are growing back in but it takes me a long time before I actually go back to the salon to get them um, wax so yeah um i probably won't get them waxed again until my birthday which is in april so i'm just going to take it and i sculpt it out any mistakes that i may have done or well, not sculpted out but i concealed any mistakes that I may have done and I sculpted out the um, brow so then I'm gonna bring it down and for the most part when I use concealer I'm um, I will drag it down far enough and maybe add just a little bit more where it can serve as a primer as well so right now I'm just gonna go in with this um, brush it's a no-name brush and I'm just going to blend that out. Some concealer got one on it right there, if you can tell. But yeah, I'm just using the other side and I'm just going to blend that out. So as you saw, a bit of my tail did like disappear. So I'm going to go back and just draw it back in. That's all I do. And then you can take your concealer, don't add any more on there, or take the brush. And this is a real techniques brush and just carve it out then I'm gonna go on top and do the same thing with it now you can you don't have to go on top if you don't want but I like to sculpt man out on top the thing is just to use a concealer that's not too bright um, this one is still a bit bright for me but it's not as bright as my um, font or what I'd use underneath my brow and honestly I think it might be bright because I had a little bit of fawn on this brush so yeah that's that so as you can see this brow versus this brow um huge difference and then you want to take it and blend it out as well then I'm just going to take just a little bit more concealer because I feel like my tail was a bit too thick for me and 
and brush it down. So as you can see, I don't have those that um, you want to take your spoolie, brush it through so you don't have that harsh line and you don't have what you would call like box brows. You don't want that harsh like square right there and then it's all, no, you want it to kind of fade because naturally that's what a lot of eyebrows do. Now you don't want it just too over dramatic with the fading, but you want it to be somewhat of a fade towards the front. Now you just want to make sure you blend all of that out. And if you don't want to add concealer to the rest of your eye, you just blend it out and then you can add your primer or whatever on top. Now if you want a super highlighted look, you can add just a tiny, tiniest bit of concealer that is um, lighter than you. Um, underneath so that you can have that highlighted look and um, you don't necessarily have to highlight your face when you're um, I mean not highlight your face uh, highlight your eyebrow when you're um, what am I trying to say when you're um, what the heck am I trying to say highlight your eyebrow when you're doing your makeup there you go so, oh no, not this one. Um, I'm going right back in. I am going to, I don't go heavy in the front. I kind of go light. And then I go a bit heavier as I get to the end. Drag my tail out a bit. Start towards the middle. At my arch. like so and then brush through this is the brow that I usually have to add some type of powder to I don't know why because they're pretty much the same color but this brow just does not like to use the whole um, just pencil technique. I don't know why, but we'll see. We'll see if I have to add it. So I'm just going to go in with my concealer. I have the concealer on the back of my hand. Boop, 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 boop. Like that. And then I'm just going to go in. I'm just gonna drag it in. So I'm just gonna take the concealer. the spoolie on this like this spoolie on this is everything anything else I'll just fix usually when I continue the rest of my makeup so yeah that is pretty much how I do my brows I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment thumbs up and subscribe and I will talk to you soon bye